Okay, my hair is seriously getting out of hand. Sorted. Ha! <laughs> Ryan, see you tomorrow. Let's head down to my business meeting. I still have about an hour to get there and the walk is about 10 minutes so there'll be a lot of time to take some time lapses. <laughs> Exploring a park that I didn't even know exists. This looks lovely. Look, look at this. Since it's Thursday and Q&A day, I thought that I'm going to address one of the questions that I get a lot, and that is, what do I do for a living? You see, I'd be the happiest person alive if I could answer that question with a very simple sentence. But unfortunately I can't, and here's why. And just to be clear, I'm only talking about my IT profession, not talking about music, not talking about anything else, because my main source of income and the, the things that I do to survive are only IT related. it all began 20 years ago oh my god it was actually 20 years ago when I first got my hands on a computer or a laptop for for my own and I was introduced to this program called click and play which basically does what the title says. Uh, you can click together games that then you can play. And then I got hooked. I wanted to learn more programming. I wanted to do it. I wanted to, to make games. I wanted to do stuff. And then the internet came and web pages came. I always had this urge of wanting to be better at what I do. So put these two things together and you have what I do for a living. Look at that, I spent so much time up in this park that I'm now actually late. I need to hurry up. I don't know which way I want to go. I'll probably just go on the busy route and come back to these parks a bit later. I think I was actually 13 years old with the first time I got paid for programming. I didn't get paid much, but I got some money out of it and that was a really big deal for me. By the time I was 15, I had my own company. Not legally, because that wasn't allowed, but I was running it and my parents set it up for me. And we were taking on clients when I was 15. Not much have changed since. I always worked in IT, either for someone else or for myself, but that's been the theme of my life. a sense of what I do haven't changed over the past 20 years the day-to-day -day things that I'm doing is constantly evolving that's why it's very hard to say what I do and I do everything online and that's why I end up with days just sitting at home and doing work without leaving the flat now you know and that was it for today's episode see you tomorrow so when I moved to Sweden, I didn't know anything about anything. It, it was a new city, new environment. I had to figure out things for myself. I stumbled upon these by complete chance and started drinking them and I loved the taste. That, that's all I thought about it. And what I really like about it is that if you look at the ingredients, 
it has absolutely no additives.